Okay, what we have here is a Westminster chime clock. It's out of a um, mantle clock. And if you look down here, the little lion and a UM. That stands for Urine Fabric Muller. Urine Fabric means uh, clock uh, maker. Uh, Muller, M U L L E R. Now, it's supposed to be a Westminster chime. And as you see the top here, this is the, the drum with the pins in it. And as this turns, of course, it works the hammers, which strikes the chime rods. Now, when it strikes the hour, this moves forward, and these pins miss everything, and only when it hits is this pin here, which then strikes the hour. And the problem I'm seeing with this clock is that that uh, everything is set in order on a Westminster chime, you, like uh, the... Um, oh, Every, everything is in order. It, 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 it'll it chime four times first, then eight uh, notes, and then uh, 12 notes, and then 16 notes. But every time this moves forward, and after chimes are, uh, strikes the hour, then it's everything, it doesn't start in the same spot every time. So I think the clock is meant to do this, but I'm not sure. So let me swing it around front here. Okay, here we go. Now, when I got this clock, I think it was dropped. The cannon pinion was broke off. There's a few things that were soldered. Also, I had to make this piece here. So, it, this little lever here pushes in on this forward and moves that drum to the rear so it only strikes the hour. Now, uh, the problem I have is, let me put the hand on here just to move this. I go forward. And strike. Now that'll make one turn. I'm sorry, I missed. I'm on the wrong one here. That should be quarter two. Let me move this over here. Okay. Now, as it goes up and strikes the hour, I'm sorry. It'll move around three times. It should be a quarter two right now. Okay, that rotated three times. And the rack went three teeth. Now the hour. Move it forward. As you watch this lever starting to move here, it'll push in on the rod. And now, as you look back, it's only striking the hour. And like I said, the problem with that is it should strike, uh, should play 16 notes and then strike the hour, like most Westminsters. This one doesn't do it. Now, like I said, I don't know if this clock is made this way, but it doesn't complete the cycle. And when it makes a 360 degrees, it should start at the same spot every time. But once it strikes the hour, like 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, then all that changes. Let's try it again. Goes back here. It's a quarter after. It'll go around one turn. And that strikes four, uh, four notes. I'll go down here a little lower. Now it'll rotate twice. There's one. And that's eight notes. Then it'll swing up here at a, at a quarter two. And it's going to rotate three times. One time for every 15 minutes. There's the third time. Now it should do the complete cycle again, one, two, three, and four, and, and have 16 notes. But as I raise the le lever, it'll push that in right there, and it just strikes the hour. So this drum will not start in the same place every time. Because in a Westminster chime, the first notes at a quarter after are all in order. They go right down the scale. And it won't end up in the same place every time. So I think 
the Glock maybe is supposed to run this way. I'm not sure, but in case anybody out there knows what this clock is or what this movement is, I'd appreciate some input. Uh, it looks like a well-made clock. It has this nice uh, uh, time adjustment here for fast or slow, and it rides on a snail, which raises and lowers the suspension spring. Now, this clock has a nice big dial. Let me turn it up here. There's the dial. Heavy glass, it's beveled glass and brass. Very heavy dial. And look at the clock one more time. There's the drum. This is the time side. Move around over here. And this is the strike side. You see the difference. This is only two trains. This is uh, Westminster and Strike. And this is time only. And this is, of course, is the shutoff in case you don't want it to chime at all. But uh, I'm a little confused on this clock. I've never seen one like this before. So if anybody has any input, I'd appreciate it. Thank you.